Hi everyone, this is Grace of GB Maltese and as you can see I have a gorgeous diamond painting in front of me. I'm going to kit her up while I chat with you. As you can see she is from Diamond Shop. This is in the Rose Garden and the reason I'm going to be kitting her up is Mindy and I are going to be doing an event together for Mindy's Diamond Moments. Check out her channel if you haven't already. So this is the diamond painting I'm going to work on. We're going to be doing April showers bring May flowers. So any kind of diamond painting you have that has anything to do with flowers can work for this event. And you can double dip into some other events. I know um, Mystria Diamonds, that's Brandy, is going to be doing Hannah Lynn. If you got one that's got flowers in it, you can enter for both. But isn't she gorgeous? I just love this. She is just beautiful. So this is the one I have chosen to work on for the month of April and I thought I'm going to kid her up while I tell you about the event. So let me get my things together. I'm going to move her to the side for now <clears throat> and I'm going to kit it up in my Bella Art de Nicole baggie holder because this comes already in bags. I'm going to and it also comes with this and I could cut these apart and tape them on but I'm not going to I like doing it this way everybody likes to do things different and that's okay that's the way we need to do our stuff the way we like it now as you can see these are too big to fit in here this way so of course you can just turn it around and do it like that so while I'm talking to you, while I'm doing this, I'll be telling you a little bit about the event and talk about whatever else may pop into my mind. Okay, this first one is going to, of course, be number one. And I've got my pen here. Let me make sure it's working. Yeah, there we go. Okay, this is number one, and the symbol is very easy. It's just the letter A. So I'll put it in there, and then I'll pull out the next bag. Now, these bags don't have the number on it. So what I do is I look over here, and I find the DMC code. So I want to find 161 next. There it is. They're, they're pretty close to being in order. They go from least to greatest on the number system. Okay, so this is number two. And we have an L for our symbol. So some of these have letters and then there's numbers and then there are other types of symbols. So it makes it pretty easy. So, I won't start this until April the 1st, but I'll have it ready to start. This is squares, as you can see. Aren't they pretty squares? Look how shiny and sparkly they are. So, Mindy and I decided we'd, work, we'd do this little thing um, in April. And... You know, usually in April you have showers to bring the May flowers. That's why we decided to do something with flowers. And you can do your kit, any kind of kit that you want to use. I think Mindy's doing one from Craftably. So, whatever you've got. And we're going to have, you can post this on Instagram under 
DP April showers. I'll put that, I'll link that down below. I'll try to remember, but we're not starting till April. So may, I'll wait until, I'll wait till then. Maybe I'll do um, a little beginning whip and chat on April the 1st just to kick it off. We'll see. But we're going to do some giveaways. Now, in order, we're going to have a giveaway each week. It's not going to be, and we're not going to have one big grand prize thing because each of our little giveaways each week will would end up to being one big prize because we've got some neat things that we want to give away. One week, I will do a giveaway. The next week, it'll be Mindy's turn. Then it'll be my turn and then Mindy. So there will be four. I'll do two. Mindy will do two. And what you'll need to do is to comment on that um, video. You'll need to watch to see what there's going to be something special that we will probably tell you to mention in the links, I mean in the comment section so that we know that you actually watched the video. And you'll need to be subscribed to our channels, of course, because that's what we want is, you know, our subscribers to win. So you need to be, you will need to be subscribed. So if you're not subscribed yet, you can go ahead and click that subscribe button right now. Click on the bell and click all notifications when, because a little drop down menu will come up. If you don't click all notifications, it won't tell you when uh, a video comes up. That way we will know that you are subscribed to our channel and this is for people that we want we want to you know have subscribers it's not any fun to just talk to yourself on <laughs> on these videos it's nice to have people out there um that are supporting you and gosh i sure do love my my subscribers and supporters out there you guys are amazing so, that's going to be coming up very soon. And I thought, now's as good a time as any to get myself kitted up so that when it comes around, I'll be ready. Now, see how easy this will be for me to just look for number one. Or, okay, I want to do number five. And I just pull it. And I'm just going to leave that open to that. And then I can stick it back in. Okay, um, this is getting kind of full, so I have fit seven different bags in there. So I'm going to start in the next section with number eight. This is so easy to do these. Um, okay, and these co these uh, symbols are so easy. They're not hard to draw. They really aren't, especially if they're just letters and numbers. But there are some asterisks and other things on there. So I will have to abide by those, of course. And they're easy to draw. You can also, um, you can check it out on Mindy's channel. I don't have a YouTube group. I've just never done one. Um, I mean, not YouTube. I'm sorry. Boy, yeah, I do. No, here I am doing a YouTube video. No, I don't have a Facebook group. I have never been a real big Facebook user. So I never made, I mean, I have a personal page, but I don't have one dedicated to crafts because I consider my channel more to be crafts than just uh, I do lots of diamond painting, but there may be some other things coming up. You just never know. You never know, because I've had some people ask me to do some other things, and I am really considering some of those different things. And if it's not your cup of tea, then you don't have to watch. But I would love for you to watch, and I'd love for you to tell me the kinds of things you are interested in, because, you know... It's, it, it really does help. I mean, people say, oh, you know, do what you want to. And, and I do. 
but sometimes it's nice to get a little bit of a hint of what you want to see and I can try to do that um, I do have some stories I've read on my channel I don't have tons of people who watch those but I do have some and I enjoy doing the readings so uh, I haven't haven't been able to do one okay did I put the right thing there yep, 11b yep I did okay sometimes I gotta double check myself um I didn't get to do one last week my <coughs> oh. <coughs> still it's drainages is a problem and I hate to have to keep clearing my throat when I'm reading, but in order to do it, I have to. I don't know. But I do enjoy reading stories, and a lot of you tell me you like to work on your diamond paintings while you're doing it. Or any other craft that you do. So, you'll just have to kind of let me know what kinds of things you like. Uh... I do you know, a lot of different kinds of things. I do, um, gosh, you talk, crap, talking about crafts. I've probably done just about any craft you can imagine. I just, all through the years, I've just done a lot of different crafts. I love crafting. I love trying new things. I do a lot of crochet. I used to loom knit. I haven't done that in a while. And I've done needlepoint. I've done, I haven't knit now. Okay, I haven't tried knitting. Not sure. I mean, I've thought about it, but I, I just haven't gotten around to doing it. And I'm not sure how well that's going to turn out for me. Um, you people who knit, I just, so, so many beautiful things out there. But I enjoy doing my crochet also. Diamond painting is a really relaxing hobby. I love doing my, love doing that, of course. And I like to show you new things that I get that have to do with diamond painting. But I might show you some things that might do with other crafts. You know, just like other channels do. I just haven't really done any of that. But, that may be something that comes up. Now, I did have a very weird comment Oh, it's, I don't know, two or three videos ago, and it really bothered me. And I, it shouldn't. <laughs> After a while, I just kind of laughed about it, and my husband did too. I got a comment saying that um, if I'm going to do a video, not to do it like a bull in a china cabinet. Well... I'm really not sure what that means because I've never thought that my videos even resembled anything like a bull in a china cabinet. If somebody could, you know, enlighten me on that and let me know how I'm, I'm like that, but I really didn't know. But I thought that was uh, a little amusing. I mean, at first it kind of bothered me, but I'm like, Okay, and I almost commented back what I was working towards being a rhinoceros in a crystal shop. But I didn't. You know, I try, I try you know. People don't realize that those kinds of things do hurt your feelings. We YouTubers do are people, and we have feelings. So if you're going to make a comment like that, you know, can you tell what you mean by that? Um, and the same person also said that there was a glare on my objects. Well, when you're dealing with plastic things, there are going to be some glares on them. I'm sorry, but not much I can do about that unless I turn the lights out and sit here in the dark, which um, you won't see me then. Well, maybe that was the, maybe that was what they meant. But I don't know. I'm just, you know, have regular lighting in here. I don't have any expensive fancy lighting I you know can't afford all that kind of stuff and don't have room for it so I do the best I can do I promise but if you have any you know anything that you can think of that I can do better I would be so grateful for you to tell me because I don't mean uh, 
to come across like a bull in a china cabinet or whatever. <laughs> I'm sorry, that just kind of kind of amusing. Really is. And this is so this is this is relaxing when you just have to put a label on the bag. And I could, like I said, just put the number one, two, three, four, and so on. But I like doing it like this. That's just, everybody does it their own way. And, um, okay, I'm going to lose my spot here. Okay, this is a big zero. A big egg. It was on this one. For number 20. So there are, look at all these beautiful colors, though. I just, I don't know. It doesn't bother me kidding up when it's like this. It's, it's kind of relaxing. Now, gosh, when we, uh, back in the day when we had them little bitty things and they were long strips, and they some places still have those, and you had to cut all of those little strips apart, and you never knew what kind of drills you were going to get. It was a uh, crapshoot kind of. <laughs> you weren't sure if they were going to be oily, staticky, all that kind of good, fun stuff. That's the reason I have some videos out there that talk about dealing with oily drills and staticky drills. And people say, what do you mean by oily drills? Well, at one time, we would get drills and they were, oh, they would stink and they'd be real oily. Uh, I don't know, it was, I don't know if it was like machine oil or what was on there. Number 22. Okay. But boy, did that stink. So I did it. I thought, you know what? I clean things with Clorox wipes to get, you know, get something clean and disinfected. So I just thought I'll pour some of them in a Clorox wipe sheet. And, you know, I got a video on that. And boy, it sure did. It was nice. And it made the drill smell very nice also and staticky drills dryer sheets take static out and they take them out of your drills too now did i thought i did one just like that one a minute ago oh, well, I don't, maybe oh it, oh it's going in the other direction okay and it's a different color so all right that'll be okay there aren't very many of this color anyway this is going to be a beauty. I mean, it's going to be a beauty. Okay, this is number 838. And this is number 24. Oh, I'm over halfway done. Okay, and that's letter J. But I hope you will join us in our little April showers. And remember, it's DP April showers, but that won't start until April the 1st. That way we can see what you're doing. It's it's not, it's fun to see um, the progress people are making. And it's, it's really cool to see the different kits that you have. It gives people ideas. Oh, I think I want to get that kit. So it's a lot of fun. I, um, I just could not decide, could not decide which one I wanted to do, and I was looking through them, and I saw this, and I'm like, this is it. The roses are gorgeous, and that butterfly on there, oh, that just, that was the icing on the cake. Had to do that one. I could probably fit another one, but I'm not going to. I don't want it so full that um, I can't handle it. Okay, that was number 25. So this will be number 26, 844. And I buy my little things here from Amazon. But you can buy them anywhere, pretty much, these little labels. And there we go. This is going to hold this kit with no problem. It looks like. Okay, 902 is 27. 
And that is the letter F. So be looking through your uh, diamond paintings you have. Uh, like I said, it can be from anywhere. Any place that you want to get your diamond painting. And it will kick off on April 1st. But we won't do the giveaway. We won't start doing the giveaways until April 7th. Because April 1st is on a Thursday, so that's not a full week. We wanted to wait until a full week came along. And I will do the first giveaway. Ooh, look at that pretty color. And I've got something ordered. I hope it gets here. I ordered it last week. So, it should be here. Something different is something I have not tried. So, we'll see. I like to try different things and let you guys try them too if I, you know, if I'm able. Um... And I'm also, I've been noticing a lot of people doing the join channels. And I'm thinking about doing that. Now, my content isn't going to really change. You're going to still see me do whipping chats and things like that. If I do the join, um, I just might have something a little extra. Like uh, an extra giveaway. Because if I have people in that group... I will know that they are subscribed to my channel. That was a thing that was kind of a, you know, you didn't know whether they were really subscribed to you or not. And you want the people who are really supporting you to, you know, to win. And the reason I have thought about doing this because postage has gotten so expensive in order to do giveaways and th send things out, or for me to buy I extra items to try out, I, I need a little bit of extra help. And you'll know when I decide if I decide to do this, because I'll put up a little video, and and I'll probably have just a couple of levels. I'm not going to go way hog wild with it, and that type of thing but it's it's something I think I am thinking about doing and I would have maybe some little extra videos of course for those who are members I might do um, you know just say sitting here just face to face with you so I don't have to show my face of my world or I might do um, show you you know behind the scenes types of things around the house just things like that that you don't want just everybody to see you know sometimes you just want the people who are really really um, interested in you because there's a lot of people that watch and they don't really give two patooties about you <laughs> so those are some things I'm thinking about. I had never thought about doing this, uh, the join thing, but I've noticed that YouTube puts those channels out there more than, say, someone like me who doesn't have a join button. Um, they Because, see, YouTube gets like 30% of whatever I get. They're going to get their cut. Um, just like... I'll make a little bit from the um, ads, and I don't put tons of ads in my videos. I know some people do, but I I don't, because um, I know you don't want to sit there and watch all of them. But I'll if it's a longer video, I'll try to. I usually will put one in the middle, and that helps a little bit. But YouTube again, they take their cut first before you get anything. And, and that's just, and that's fine, because it's their platform, you know, there wasn't YouTube, we wouldn't have any place to go um, to do these little things. And I think that if I have a, um, you know, smaller, uh, some people who are my members, they might be able to help me come up with ideas on what kind of videos everybody might want to see. You kind of be my little backup team my support team, let's put it that way. And it, it would just help me out 
um, to purchase some of the things I have to purchase. Like I had to get a, a new laptop. I've been waiting a year. Finally got that. Um, you know, there's just different things that go along with it. But, you know, you can you can sound awful what you think about these things. Just don't be ugly. <laughs> Please don't be ugly to me. You know, I get that enough from other people. I don't need it from everybody. You you can say things without being ugly about it. You know, you really can. Some people don't realize that. You don't have to always, you know, come off as being just a mean old thing. Okay. Well, that's the and sign. And they make theirs different than mine, so... Okay, I'm just going to make mine the way it normally looks. And that's going to be funny looking. It is. Let's see what this is. <laughs> I put a regular, my, that kind of end sign that I normally put. I just do real quick and easy. Okay, 37.43 is number 37. We're almost finished. And this will be ready for me to start on April the 1st. And you guys can be looking for your stuff you want to do. But I wanted to share some of my things, ideas with you. And, you know, some of the things that sometimes go on behind the scenes. Um, let's see. That's a V. 38. We are getting to the end. And I hope you are working on something fun. <sighs> okay. 37.72 is number 39. And that is an equal sign. Like I said, most of these are very simple. That's why I just go ahead and put it on there. Because that way... When I see an equal sign, I'll look for it. I'll look for it on this thing first. And then, I'll have my bag sitting out. I'm like, now what, what, which one was I doing again? And then I'll remember it was the equal sign. Sometimes, you know, it's it, it happens. It does happen. You forget which one you're working on. Especially if you've had it out for a little while. Or you leave it and come back now where was i when you got your bag sitting out there you'll remember and you can go pick it up and start back on those symbols well you left off oh Ooh, i love this color look at that oh yeah that's a beautiful kind of a teal blue that's beautiful okay 3770 four Okay, that's number 41. 41. That's number 9. We are almost to the finish line. Oh, yeah. So, I hope you are having a lovely week. It is getting... We had really bad thunderstorms the other night. And my daughter was telling me texted me this morning and said they had really bad ones last night where she lives. She lives um, around the Dallas area and she said that the tornado bell, uh, sirens were going off. Well, where I live, we don't have tornado sirens because getting tornadoes in my area is very, very rare. But she said they were going off all last night, so I know she didn't get much sleep. I had been sitting in the closet because I have a closet that's kind of an, an inner room there it doesn't face the outside of the house and she does also so she'll get herself and her dogs and blankets and pillows in there to try to be safe but that's just a scary thing when you hear those well like i said i don't know i've never heard one because we don't have them here and i'm getting ready to do the last one look at that look at that here we are the last one number 45 
and that is letter I mean that is number eight and their number eights look like two O's sitting on top of each other so that's what I did alrighty and there we are look at that I'm all kitted up it's ready to go I'll put a link to Bella Art de Nicole and sometimes you have to just keep checking because they run out of their stuff pretty quick they also have an Instagram page um, where they'll put up when they're going to have another item ready oh, to put up but like I said they sell out real quick. You kind of have to be wait, ready and waiting. <clears throat> a lot of people like the rainbow ones, but I just got this plain pink, and I think it's gorgeous. Look at that pretty butterfly on the end. All right. Well, I will say adieu for now as I am. Oh, another thing I'm going to do, another thing that I do, is I'm going to put in the rose garden on here, so I know that this is what it's kitted up for. If I don't do that, I will forget. Sometimes I'll put it, oh, you know what? I'm going to put it on this. In the rose garden. And this is a 50 by 50. And I did get it from Die Moon Shop. I got it back before Christmas I believe but I'm pretty sure they still have it but you wouldn't get it in time for this um, but if you're interested in it you know where I got it anyway okay in the rose garden there we are and it says to smile you're on candid camera any of you remember that show I used to think that was so funny okay well I think I'm going to go for now you have a wonderfully blessed day evening night whatever it may be take care of yourselves god bless and i do love you guys bye